whose stomach is that? We're part of the moonlight. I ain't a fan to say. Can't win the sunlight. Hello, beautifuls. This is Aroma here. Welcome back to Seven Scarlet. We are here. Um, I think in another point of view, because th the guy earlier was heavily breathing in her ear. Oh, this one's a silver gray area? No? I... Well, we'll only hurt you. Who the hell are you? <laughs> it's dangerous. Don't come. Come where? To the other side? Oh, is that my big brother? Okunazato is a trap. Ooh. Cool with that. Oh, don't hit the leaves, oh. Jesus. Who's flying this? <laughs> Who's flying this plane here? Is this like a real, like. Like they recorded real footage and then just like filtered it over to make it look cartoony? Well, that's crazy if it's like this pretty. Wow! The trees outside the window gradually get farther away in the distance. The sunlight filtering through the branches makes me blink my eyes. Next stop, Okinazato! Okinazato, hit the buzzer if this is your song! <laughs> you know, is that you? Aladion erupts from the seat beside me. Are we there yet? How long do we have to sit on this rickety bus? The mountains look a lot closer now. I mean, it's been more than an hour since we got on, the, on at the station. Where in the world is Okinazato? I believe it's out in the middle of nowhere because there's only like a population, or originally a population of 2,500 people. Uh, Sitting for so long is hurting my butt. Not only do you want to stand up, you know, but I don't think it's safe to go. <laughs> Your head is flopping all over the place. What? You were just watching? You could have offered me your lap as a pillow. I think that would be more uncomfortable on you, wouldn't it? You just use my shoulder. I think that would be less uncomfortable. Oh, look, there's a beautiful flower over there. <laughs> Rejected. Are you an airhead or did you do that on purpose? Huh? Um, hey, where'd you put that pamphlet we got at the station? Oh, so you do like me, because you're calling me an airhead, and I'm oblivious to uh, your flirts. <laughs> I should be in my bag. He digs around in his bag and takes out the crumpled pamphlet. I thought that was a <laughs> that was trash for a second. <laughs> Quit being so rude and just read it already. Sheesh, you should organize your bag better. Yeah, I guess I should at least put my wallet somewhere I can find it. Well, Hino peers into his bag and spread out the map that was in the pamphlet. There's a large picture of the crescent-shaped Okinazato on the map, but on the map, on the middle of the page. Hey, Hino, is this the hotel we're staying at? Hino looks at where I'm pointing. Probably. It's one turn off the main street, so that should be the place. Hmm. Will we be able to find it? It's the country, so there aren't enough streets to get lost. I'll figure something out. Leave it to me. I mean, that also doesn't help, because then we won't... If we do get lost, we won't know how to get back if we just start walking in the middle of grass. As I look at his confident expression, I get even more nervous. But there's nothing else on the map that looks like it could be a hotel. Don't look so worried. I'll check again later. Okay. Still, Okinazato sure is a weird name. 
I had never even heard of it until my brother came, he came here. Oh, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the Yeah, me neither. Well, it's not much of a tourist town, so it's probably not that strange that we don't know it. You know, thanks for, bring for bringing me all the way out here. It, it's nothing really. I mean, who would be okay if their brother went missing and there's like no idea how he went missing and there's no body either, bro? You've been spacing out so much at school and you haven't been doing well. Anyway, you don't need to think. Maybe you'll feel better if you get some fresh air, and then things will change. You know, says looking out the window, blushing a little. Yeah, I've never really relaxed out in the country like this before. I'm kind of excited. So Oh, he's done. <laughs> yeah, just take it easy. That being said, I do remember why you wanted to come here. I hope you find something about your brother. Yeah. Uh, so the people attending the meeting are just expecting me. What am I supposed to do? Oh, that's right. Will they be upset if I suddenly show up? Yeah, Wait, why didn't you tell him prior that I was gonna be with you? No, I don't think it's that big of a deal. In any case, I'll post on the site to let them know that you'll be with me. Thanks. Hey, do you think it would be best not to say anything about my brother? Good question. I'll leave that up to you. Do whatever you want. You're still sleepy? I'm still sleepy. Then why don't you sleep a little longer? Wait, I thought the lady said we're almost close to our place though. Yeah, guess I will then. Wait, will you wake me up when we're almost there? <laughs> wake yourself up? Yeah, I'll wake you up. Bro, where is the save button? By the time you guys help me find the save button, uh, hopefully I already found it because I'm pre-recording. I'll wake you up. Sure. I really don't. Is it like tab? Wait. Does tab do anything? Yeah, I'll wake you up. Does tab do anything? Cap locks? Shift? Control? Dude, I need a pamphlet on how to save in this game. Yeah, sure. I'll wake you up. Wanna lean on my shoulder? Oh. Whoa, it's a change of music. Oh, like, jazzy. Wait, what are you saying? The music change is kind of funky. Yeah, wait, what's this all of a sudden? You know, when you say stuff like that, most guys will get the wrong impression. I'm kidding. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. She's kidding. I'm not. I just wanted to try saying it. Sorry. You're playing with his heart. That's rude. Yeah, whatever. Make sure you wake me up. Good night. Really, how do you save, dude? He says, folding his arms and sinking into his seat. He starts snoring at once as if he were extremely exhausted. He's mumbling in his sleep like a cat. It's kind of cute. We're the only ones on the bus. The empty seat felt swing whimsically with every turn of the road. Are you two students? Where are we sitting for you to talk far away to me? A voice makes me look up. I notice that the bus driver is looking at us in the rearview mirror. Yes, we are. Oh, sorry, were we being too loud? No, no, that's not it. No, I didn't mean to eavesdrop. When I heard you two talking, you reminded me of my school days. Are you going to Okinazato to see sightseeing? Sorry, not just to see. Yeah, I guess you could call it sightseeing. Um, by any chance, were you born in Okinazato? Yeah, I was born in Okinazato. 
奥根里へは遊びに行ける距離だったから子供の頃は何度か行ったことがあるよ No, I grew up in another town, but it's close enough to Okunazaru to visit, so I went there a number of times as a kid. What's Okunazaru like? Hmm, Good question. It's a small country town with a population of about 2,500. The closest train station is an hour away by bus. That's exactly what's written in the pamphlet. The bus driver quickly continues when he sees how dumbstruck I am. Haha, now it's a pamphlet. I used to have to go to the bus. I remember it. Eh, what's the rest of it? Oh, so he knew he was reading off a pamphlet. Oh, it's just rattling facts off from the pamphlet, wasn't I? So many people leave them on the bus. I've memorized it by now. Uh, what else? This place is a little different. It's a little bit of a shape of the village. The town is strangely shaped, spread out like a crescent moon. The road is made of mud and sand. The entrance is only two stops from the east and west. Excuse me, jeez. It's surrounded by mountains and rivers, and there are only two ways out: one in the east and one in the west. From now on, this bus will pass the bridge, and the side of the tunnel is the main entrance to Okunezato. The bridge we're about to cross and the tunnel on the other side of the town are the only ways in and out of Okunezato. Wow, then it's like a solitary island, but on land, almost like one huge secret passage. How can you say something like that so casually? Whoa, you, you surprised me! Oh shit, I didn't read what she said after that. Can you backspace? No, backspace is nothing too. How am I supposed to sleep when you're talking super loud right next to me? Whoop. Oh. He said we sound like a friend. But it's true that this is a small country town, but a long time ago it had a small hot springs. So there used to be some traffic for now. Now there are very few buses. It seems that an empty bus is the norm. Recently, the bus is a mystery spot. It's a mystery spot. It's a mystery spot. It's a mystery spot. It's a mystery spot. Recently, Okunazawa has been labeled a mystery spot, so sometimes young folks visit. Kinky club, and the site is made up. There is also a website called the Okunazawa Supernatural. Old legends and old towns are found in the area. Strange legends and old stories are so that. It's a town full of old legends and rumors. Strange stories and folklore are one thing, but. Kinsokuchi, to say. There are some forbidden places that are blocked off for no apparent reason. We know there's a reason. Restricted areas that have been avoided since ancient times. Many of these areas have scientifically ambiguous reasons for their forbidden status. One such famous area is Hachima no Yabushira. Yab Yab Yabushi Razu. Whoa, dude! Literally, Hachima's unknown grove, located in. Chikawa City in the Chiba Prefecture, Prefecture of Japan near Tokyo. It is said that anyone who steps foot inside it will never come out again. This area is so renowned that the name Hachiman no Yabu Yabushirazu can even be used in place of the words maze and labyrinth. That was a mouthful. So when you step your foot into it, you are going to be lost. I mean, they say that. Was he chuckling at that? They say if you step foot in one of those places, you'll go missing. There were rumors about my brother being spirited away back when he went missing. Well, anyway, it's an old town. Most of the people are locals, and it's a nice, quiet place. Thank you so much for all that information. When I thank him, the bus driver raises his hand in reply. I thought it was a mystery. I thought it was a mystery. I thought it was a mystery. It sounds more mysterious than I thought. I figured they were just making stuff up when they said he might have been spirited away. Huh? I'm surprised to hear him say that. None of the newspaper articles on my brother's disappearance mentioned him being spirited away. Maybe he's done more research into my brother's case than I thought. I'm happy, but I also feel bad for worrying him. My feelings are a little complicated, but I do my best not to express them on my face. 
Anyway, I hope we find something out on this trip. I thought you came to goof off. Idiot, as if I did. Okay. No, you're right. We should take it easy at first. Are we on like some 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 summer vacay? Let's just relax and enjoy Okunezato. Yeah. Oh. Whose stomach is that? Was that your stomach? <laughs> that was so loud. All that talking made me hungry. All right, time to eat. You're pretty busy with all your yawning and stomach grumbling, but you know I didn't bring anything to eat, right? There's no way I'd slack off when it comes to food. Wait a sec. I start to say that I'm not waiting, but I stop myself. Hmm, now that I think of it. Hey, what happened to that bread you bought at the station? I ate it before we got on the bus. Two of those wouldn't come near to fill me up. It looked like pretty thick bread to me. Your stomach's seriously bottomless. I'll take that as a compliment. Oh, there it is. Look, my emergency ra rations. <laughs> say rations. Want some? You have chocolate in your emergency rations. In summer, you know what's going to melt. If you're going to criticize, then none for you. I'm not that hungry anyway. Besides, that chocolate is strawberry flavored, right? Oh, <laughs> Wait, am I allergic to strawberry? Huh? Oh, you're right. I guess it has bits of strawberry in it. Sorry, I didn't notice. Well, thanks anyway. Sorry. Oh, she just hates strawberries. No need to apologize. There aren't many people who hate strawberries, you know? Yeah, I've hated them for as long as I can remember. There are a lot of sweets like cakes and parfaits. If I can take the strawberries out, I can eat it. Oh, that was kind of nice. There's no need to go to such lengths, is there? Ugh, what a waste. They're so good too. Go ahead and eat them then. Don't worry, I will. But anyway, this is where we're gonna stop. I was trying to find a good spot to stop, like them about to go to Okinazawa, but I feel like there's gonna be more dialogue from here on out. So we're just gonna stop right here. Homegirl needs to find out how to save because this is very troubling. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys for watching. Stay beautiful and I'll see you guys in the next one.